welcome to Lessons from a Park Bench. I'm Michael Clark, I'm your host for this show. And today we're gonna talk about, don't you know about Noah? Now Noah was a just man. He was righteous in the eyes of the Lord. According to Genesis chapter six and verse eight, he found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Can it be said of you that you find grace in the eyes of the Lord and your daily walk with God? Are you doing all that Noah did? Are you being faithful? We wanna look at three points today of why Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Number one, Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord because he was a faithful man. Genesis chapter 6 and verse 8 states that. According to chapter, verse 9, he walked with God, his, and his family was walking with God. Now why would a man that was faithful be so significant? The Bible's themed around men that are faithful. Well, that's because Noah was a man that was faithful in a time when everything was evil around him. According to verses 1 and verse 2 of Genesis chapter 6, the entire earth was evil. Only Noah and his family were the ones that were doing the things that were right. So we know that Noah was a faithful man according to Genesis chapter 6, verses 8 and 9. Number two, we know that, Je that Noah had a, a faithful family at the time of the flood. Now we know later on in the Bible his family did some things that weren't right, but at the time of the flood, Noah had a faithful family. Genesis 7 and verse 7 says that God allowed his family to enter the ark. Why would God allow members of a family to enter the ark if they weren't faithful, if they weren't doing God's commandments. He wouldn't. The rest of the earth was going to be destroyed and God would make an exception for one man's family only if they were doing what was right. So we know that he had a faithful family. We know that he was faithful and he had a faithful family. And number three, Noah did all that God said and obeyed without question. Now that's very significant because today there are a lot of people that are told things that they need to do but aren't willing to do them. Now we're not going to look at them, but in Genesis chapter 6, verse 13 through 21, we're only going to look at a few of those verses, but they're, they're the specifications of what God wanted the ark to be made out of and what He wanted the length, breadth, and height to be made out. Now, number one, the type of wood that God specified was very important. It was gopher wood, according to chapter 6 and verse 14. Would any other type of wood work? No. Number two, the length was 300 cubits. Would any other length work? No. Number, two, number three, the breadth was 50 cubits. Would any other breadth work? No. Number four, the height was 30 cubits. Would any other height work? No. And finally, the animals that were supposed to be in, on the ark, two of each kind, male and female. Now that's important because that signif that's, signifies that male and female is important to God. That lets us know that marriage is important because if he specified it with animals, why wouldn't he also specify it with men? So we know that Noah was a faithful man, he had a faithful family, and he listened to what God said. Can it be said of you that you were like Noah? I wanna thank you for watching Lessons from a Park Bench and see you next time.